Ladies, good evening. How are you? We're good. Excellent. Let me just make sure everything's running here. Yes, we're good. We're going. Um, first question I, I always ask is, where are you? Right now, we're in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and it is 12 noon here. Okay, so you're at home. Yes, we're at home. Okay, cool. Uh, just in case you're wondering where I am, uh, I'm near Frankfurt, uh, in kind of in the middle of Germany. We have a cousin that lives in Germany. Oh, and right. She's originally from, yes, the States, and I think that's what she's doing now. She's teaching English. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it's a good job to have because, uh, you know, everybody needs English. Uh, and so you can either be teaching in school, I can in, in high school. Let me just give the kind of little introduction to the, sh uh, to the, to the interview. Um, hi, everyone. This is Country Music News International. My name's Nigel Sharp. And this evening, well, it's evening for me, it's, it's kind of midday for the girls. Um, I am talking to the Render Sisters. And the first thing I'm going to ask is, which one is which? So who's Stella and who's Mary so Keaton? I'm Mary Keaton and I'm Stella. Right, okay. So we've got that sorted out. How's it been for you? Let's start off with this uh, terrible pandemic situation. How have you got through all of that? What have you been doing? Well, um, at the beginning, we had a lot of family time, which was really good for us just to be able to sit down for a minute, you know, and have that time with our family. And then as things went forward, we had to go to school and that was very interesting. And okay. we just had a lot of time to work on music and get a lot of things that we needed done. So how did school work? Did you have to wear masks or social distance yourselves? Yes. So there was seating charts for everything. You had to wear a mask at all times. And the seating charts were just to show who you were by all the time in case you needed to be quarantined. The people within a six foot radius of you were quarantined. So oh. it was very different, a very different way of school for us. Yeah. Very Still, at least you had school. Um, yes, yeah, we were thankful to be able to go. <laughs> we're just now starting to be able to get out more and things are starting to be lifted um, in our town. Okay. I was uh, having a look on your website and uh, I, I checked up where it said tour and it said coming soon. So do you actually have plans for a tour and how, f you know, how kind of uh, positive are you that it's going to take place? So this summer is kind of definitely way better than last summer because last summer we didn't really get to do much of anything. So we're just contacting places that are opening up and seeing if people are doing virtual concerts or if you're able to do it like at a restaurant setting with people farther back. And so we're just trying to make shows where people will let us play. But for you two, yes. I guess you can always practice together. Do either of you actually play an instrument? I play the keyboard right. and I play guitar. Good. So we're like our own little band. That sounds good. I'm a guitarist myself. So, yeah, and I've been listening to some of your music and watching some of the videos and stuff. And it does seem, I must say, that your two voices blend together very, very nicely. I mean, is that something you work on or does it? Did it just come naturally to you? It really just came naturally. I think it's just that genetic sister harmony that we were born with and we worked on it, but it basically just comes together as is. Who's, who's the eldest uh, from you two? It's that one. So <laughs> are you the boss or is this a 50-50 equal partnership? Stella's it's saying like yes. A, it's like a 90-10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of pretty much that way. <laughs> yeah, I did wonder about that. I must say, I had to ask you that question. I mean, yeah. is music fun for you? It is. 
it's just like something we can pick up and do at any time, you know, if we're sad, we can sing, if we're happy, we sing. So it's something that meets all occasions for us. And what about songwriting? Um, we enjoy songwriting. We're not very good at it yet, but we're learning. We've co-written all of our songs with Britton Cameron out of Nashville. Okay. And he's teaching us a lot, just the basics of songwriting, because even though the harmonies came natural to us, songwriting hasn't as much, but we're trying to learn. What is easier for you? Is it writing the lyrics or getting the music together? So that one's actually split. I think it's easier to write lyrics. And how often, uh, I, I mean, do you actually sit down and kind of work at, at that? Do, do you say, right, okay, today we're going to have a songwriting session or do you just kind of take it as it comes? What we've tried to do is songwrite in our everyday lives. So if we're driving our car down the road and we an idea pops in our head, we go to our notes and we write it down. And that's just how we get most of our ideas is what things that people say, things that we see, things that we experience. And so we just try to take note of that daily. Anyway, let's go back to this music. You have just released uh, a new song, I Can't Help It. Yeah. What brought you to that song? It's classic country. It is. We like that kind of country. And oh, whenever we first heard that Hank Williams song, we heard it sung by Linda Ronstadt. And That's right. I think we just looked at each other and was like, we've got to cover this. This yeah. one sounds so good with harmonies. And so we started learning it. And the, the, little, the video that you have with that song, um, you're in this really nice looking studio. And there's another video, uh, another cover song, Love Hurts, which is another song from back in my youth. So I remember that one as well. Um, was that the same session? It was. It was on the same day. Yes. Yeah, so right. we put on one outfit and we sang our song and then we switched and we did it in the same studio. Okay. So did you take like a suitcase full of clothes with you for this uh, We did. We, did. <laughs> we sure did. You should have seen us hauling it all in there. <laughs> It's thinking. Yeah, the, where was that studio? Um, it's called Latitude Studios. It's in Nashville. I love all the stuff on the, all the guitars on the on the wall and on the floor yes. and lots it of. It was such a nice atmosphere. Yeah, it it looked it. You know, just think, oh, this is. It looks really relaxed and really comfortable, and. Uh, also, the, the arrangement from Love Hurts, uh, who put that together? Was that you or was that your producer? Or? We worked on it with one of our vocal and live show uh, helpers. Her name's Jennifer McGill. Okay. And we wanted to do something different. We wanted it to be slow and like the Everly Brothers, but also bring in other parts. Of yeah, I like to, I like that arrangement you were singing. Again, you know, it's like the, how the voices interact, you know, how they blend together. That, that really makes it. And I love the kind of uh, really sparse backing. You know, you've got guitar in the background and, and a guy on the piano. And that's it. Yeah. I love that kind of uh, simple stuff i mean it's great listening to sort of all the electric guitars and thumping drums but there are times when you, you can't you just can't beat a acoustic instrument so an acoustic guitar or a couple of guitars so and the other um the other video that i really liked listening to was uh black roses and that's quite an interesting sort of uh, lyric in there tell me about to how that came about so our dad actually kind of came up with that idea we were brainstorming and he said you know girls I think that y'all should write a song about how love is so pure and great in the beginning and then you're so in love and then it ends 
And so we kind of got this white rose, red rose, and black rose mm -hmm. vibe going. And we were just like, how do we write a song about this? So we went to our producer, Britton Cameron, and he said, oh, we can definitely write a song about this. And so the song just displays three different scenarios of three different girls and how their relationships ended up like black roses. So how was it actually shooting the video? Was uh, Did you have any problems with kind of social yeah. distancing and all that kind of stuff? Well, we had other problems to deal with that Stella can tell you about. So in that video, I actually have a broken ankle. She broke her ankle the week before mm. our video shoot. So we had to film the whole thing with Stella not being able to put weight on her foot and having to hide all the bruising on her foot. And it was, it was very interesting. It was interesting. And we had to work around that with social distancing and doing the camera yeah. work. So it was a very different video shoot for us. So what else have you got planned for um, releases and recordings for this year? Is, have you got like a kind of roadmap uh, worked out for what you're going to do? We do. We plan to release a song, like an original, a cover, and then another original, kind of staggered like that yeah. throughout the summer. And we have a couple songs ready, and we have a video shoot in a couple of weeks for a new original. So we are very excited for the future. Okay, so ladies, I'll say thank you again. And uh, you take care of yourselves and uh, all the very best for the future. And goodbye. You too. Let me wave you goodbye. <laughs>